work towards having multiple sources of income just in case you won't be able to work anymore. Hi everyone, this is Charm again from Ready to Adult Philippines, a channel about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and adulting how to. Usually, when we talk about income, the first thing that comes to mind is the salaries we get as employees or business owners. But there are actually at least seven types of income, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. But before that, let me share to you the kinds of income. It can either be an active, passive, or both. An active income means that you have to continue working for you to be able to earn from that income source. Another kind of income is passive income. Passive income means that you can still earn from that income source with little to no work. And there are some kinds of income as well that combine both active and passive. So let's start discussing the seven kinds of income. The first income is earned income. Earned income is an active kind of income. It is the most common type of income and it's where most of us start. It's when you exchange time for money. The problem there is that time is limited. We're all given the same 24 hours. And if you fall ill, you might not be able to work, therefore not being able to earn or provide for your family. Examples of earned income are salaries, wages, bonuses, and commissions. But earned income is also one of the most taxed form of incomes. In the Philippines, if you earn more than 250,000 pesos a year, you can be taxed from 20 to 35%. The second type of income is profit income. Profit income can be both an active or passive form of income. With profit income, you can be both self-employed or an employer who runs a business. You get profit income by selling a product or service for a profit. So this can be a physical or digital product. It can be something you make or it can be something that you buy and sell. If a business can survive without you, then that can be a passive profit income. But if not, like you're the one baking your cookies or you're making your artwork, then that's still considered an active form of income. Profit income for individuals and businesses are taxed differently. But similar to the earned income, they can still be taxed anywhere from 0 to 35%. Also, with profit income, you have to pay for percentage tax or valued added tax here in the Philippines. The next source of income is interest income. Interest income is a passive form of income. Interest income is when you lend money to the government, companies, or institutions like banks, bonds, time deposits, like lending money to your bank through cash deposits. If you notice in your bank account, every month you get a small portion of profit and that's the interest profit you get from the bank. It usually ranges from 0.25% to 1%. Interest incomes are taxed between 15 to 20%. The money that you receive is mostly after tax already. The next type of income is dividend income and it is another passive form of income. So dividend income comes from when you invested in stocks, bonds, UITFs, mutual funds, or you own portions of the company through shares. Stocks and pooled funds don't always give out a dividend income. It is their decision if they want to pay a part of their profit to their shareholders. Dividend incomes are taxed at 10%. So that's why you might have heard Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg only taking $1 for his salary because he still earns from dividend income from his company. The fifth type of income is rental income can be both an active or passive form of income. When we hear about rental income, we usually think about real estate, especially residential properties. But you can also rent out commercial and industrial properties as well. But other than real estate, you can also rent out equipments and gadgets like your GoPro, your camera, your bike, your camping equipment, or your car. So basically, rental income comes from renting out something that you own. Rental income in the Philippines is taxed between 3 to 12%. The next type of income is royalty income. And this is another type of passive income. You don't have to be a queen or a prince to earn from this type of income. This type of income comes from when you write a literary piece like a book or you produce music. 
or your own intellectual properties like patents, trademarks, copyrights to things that other people may want to use. Like when you produce a movie and a toy company wants to make merchandise out of your characters, then you can get royalties from those. Royalty income in the Philippines is taxed between 10 to 20 percent. The last type of income is capital gains. Capital gains is another form of passive income. It's when you buy an asset at a lower price and sell it at a higher price. It usually appreciates through time and this can be either a real estate property or stocks. When you sell your stocks or your shares from a company that's listed in the Philippine Stock Exchange, then it's 0.6%. But when you sell your stocks or shares from a non-listed company, meaning they're not in the Philippine Stock Exchange, then you're taxed at 15%. If you're trying to sell a real estate property, then you're taxed at 6%. So with capital gains, it ranges between 0.6% to 15%. So other types of income that I'm not going to go in detail in this video are prizes and winnings. Just because these are usually based on luck and the seven types of income that I've talked to you about are things that you can work towards. You don't have to have all of these types of income but it is good to work towards having multiple sources of income just in case you won't be able to work anymore or your business fails or your stocks aren't doing well. It's always good to diversify not only in your investment portfolio but also with your source of income. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something and feel free to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the notification bell so that you will be notified once I upload another video. You can comment down below which types of income you have right now or which types of income you want to work towards. And I will see you in my next video. This has been Charm from Reddit Adult Film.